12. Out of a first and 20. Wilson just one across the middle. DK Metcalf takes a big shot at midfield. Able to stay on his feet. Darius Slay came up with a pop. Gain of 13. You see DK Metcalf one on one against Darius Slay. Just a nice little jump and hop and then take off inside on the slant. But this is going to be a tough assignment for Darius Slay all night long because if you get up and jam a guy this big, he just throws you to the ground. If you don't jam him and you. Quick throw by Wilson. DK Metcalf, first down yardage. Nothing Darius Slay could do about that one. So if Darius Slay is going to go with DK Metcalf, he has to be comfortable getting up and being physical at the line of scrimmage. This is back-to-back -back slant routes from DK Metcalf. It's going to be a long night. Second and four. Free play looked like Philadelphia. It's Metcalf already his third catch. Rock. Quick handoff to Chris Carson. And some extracurriculars. And that's already Darius Slay and DK Metcalf. And these guys are going to be face to face all night. And then some. And the flag comes in. Two scuffles breaking out. Everybody talks about the matchup all week long, right? They're talking to Darius Slay about going up against DK Metcalf. He catches two balls on you early, then you make a play on him, and you got two big hits from McLeod on DK Metcalf, so he's not happy. And this is where you set the tempo for the night in this first drive. See that last push by Slay. After the play was over, on sportsmanlike conduct, number 24, defense. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. This is number 24's first for disqualification. Yeah, you can just see they're just getting physical, and DK's not going to let it go. This is a guy who is, look, he's a big man out there, and he's trying to establish his territory and let the defensive backs know, I'm, I am not going to be intimidated in this. Second and goal. Russ to throw for it, back of the end zone. Russ to throw for it quickly. It is Metcalf, can't get to the line. Slay was there first, and McLeod came over to help out. Seven-yard gain, and it's fourth down. Darius Slay is a skilled, skilled corner with very good feet when he plays off man coverage, can read routes. You see there the efficiency of his movement, closing on the football. Then McLeod comes in to finish him off. Third and 14 from the 12. Wilson, quick toss to Metcalf. To rushing four here. They do bring the extra man this time on third and 13. Wilson will take a deep shot. Metcalf is there and he's got it. DK Metcalf down to the one. 52 yard gain. And I know we love to talk about these deep plays, but watch this block by Carlos Hyde picking up that blitz you mentioned, Steve. That gave Russell Wilson the time to throw that moon ball. But he's looked like a wise, wise pick for Seattle. And on cue, DK Metcalf hurtling a defender going up and over Slay for 18 yards. And you see this time Darius Slay just gets caught in the traffic. DK coming underneath. Darius has to work has to work over top and isn't able to keep on the upfield shoulder. And with a guy as big as fast as DK, you know that's going to be a huge gain. And you see him try and go up over the top, see if he can get in the end zone. A penalty, so officially two snaps, handed it off once and did complete a pass. Here's Russell Wilson looking to complete his own pass for DK Metcalf. And Darius Slay on the coverage, and that's how the night opened tonight. Metcalf against Slay. Yeah, just a straight go route down the sideline, one-on-one. -on -one. You see Darius is kind of playing in the half turn, opens to the field. Then he's just kind of trying to run to the pocket, get back in phase. Ball's a little bit overthrown. Metcalf, another catch for him. Eighth grab of the night. That was a great use of the hard count from Russell Wilson. He, exa he diagnosed exactly where that pressure was coming from the field. He knew that DK Metcalf would have soft coverage on the opposite side, and then he's going to have these two guys. He, he figured it out that these two guys were going to be coming, and by definition, as a defense, the backside corner has to be soft, and he knew that he had the quick out to DK Metcalf. That's next-level quarterback play. Eagles didn't bite on the hard count. Here's Wilson to throw. Middle of the field, Metcalf. 
And that ball scoops out. And now we hear the whistle. I think they're going to mark him down at the 35. Slay knocked the ball out. It's a gain of 19 on the pitch and catch. Going on the field is the catch and down. Yeah, he's his knees down the ground. That's a nice job, though, of Darius Slade playing against a big man from off coverage at the move point of that route. 17-9, early stages, fourth quarter. Wilson puts some air underneath it, right to Metcalf. Get him in the game and go to him. And he's got the catch, working on Slade, good for 32. You see him, he lines up in the slot and runs what they call the slot fade. And Darius Slade plays this perfect. And DK just muscles the ball away from him. There's nothing you can do with that. I mean, Darius Slade plays that textbook. Doesn't look back, plays the eyes and hands, has his ball, has his hand on the football. And DK just flips it to the cameraman like, how do you like that? Mm. Wilson looking end zone, and it is dropped. Slay went down first, and Metcalf couldn't come up with the football. Went right back at that matchup. Darius Slay this time decides to look back for the football rather than try to play the hands. And I think it was a good approach. He just stumbled, and DK Metcalf dropped it. Yeah, DK is just such a big, strong body. Even the slightest touch on the defensive back, and you see what happens, how he can just create that subtle separation where the referee still doesn't call anything. That's just the function of being so much bigger and stronger than most corners. He just makes it look easy as far as creating separation.